Hello, Virgo. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is Kelly with House of Virgo. Thanks for popping in, you guys. <clears throat> Hope everyone's doing well. Welcome back to the next episode of Virgo's Love Life. <laughs> Hello, everyone in the chat. What's up? Um, if you guys want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. So just click that link. That will take you to my site where you book your reading first. And then um, we'll get you set up for your reading. Okay. And if you're new, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. <clears throat> All right, you guys. Hi, everybody in the chat. Hello, hello. Let's see what's going on with your love messages here. Oh boy, nine of wands back again. The magician, Gemini energy, judgment, Scorpio, six of pentacles. Okay, I did see that came out in reverse, so I will touch on that. Eight of swords, eight of cups, the hermit, Virgo energy, three of wands, and Aquarius, the fool. Bottom of the deck. Aquarius again um, there's some hope don't lose hope Obi-Wan you're my only hope <laughs> there's some hope there's healing uh, somebody listening to this reading might be getting famous or um, whether that's global local whichever I feel like somebody is like wow this is crazy. Okay, so the death card here. There's a massive change happening. An ending has come and now a new start. There's a new cycle. Well, I don't know it's a cycle, but the suffering is over, okay? Somebody here is like getting clarity or has re received clarity. No more illusions, no more deception. Okay, no more dreams. Dreams becoming reality for some of you. Grief process grief is over no more sadness being able to see light at the end of the tunnel because look you've got you've got this person here crying over these three spilled cups and then two cups back here but way too devastated to see them but now able to see them and no more stifling no more trying to figure things out no more contemplating um <laughs> I was going to make a comment, but I'm going to keep this to myself. Um, no more waiting and trying to make a decision here. Okay. So there's definitely hope is coming back is how I feel. All right. Let's take a look here. See what your love messages are, Virgo. Virgo's. Let me get in closer. Virgo's love messages here. Virgo's love messages. What does Virgo need to know for love? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Virgo, you've got something that you're like... I just heard the this, the this, this song, Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. <laughs> but I just kind of feel like you guys are, whatever you're doing, you're not paying attention to anything or anyone around you. You're too busy smelling the flowers. <laughs> You're too busy enjoying and being mindful and enjoying life like the present. And you're attracting love into your life. Oh, and then you've got passion. What? What is going on? I knew this was going to come. I knew it because you're paying attention to red flags, Virgo. Oh my goodness, you guys are getting to this place now where you're so good at spotting red flags that you don't even give it a second thought. As soon as you spot a red flag or as soon as you see it, you're like, nope, I'm not even going to entertain it. <laughs> you're just like, I don't know, a lot of you have got, you got your hope back or you will be getting your hope back. It's coming. You know, the suffering is over, okay? Everything that you've been through, Virgo, you know, I mean, I know right now you're like, okay, I, I know I'm coming to the end of it. Some of you have already ha like come to that and you're attracting lovers into your life because you're just, I feel like you're just done or over with some negativity or some negative things. You know, the past is the past for a lot of you. 
okay? Or, you know, the struggle with someone is completely over. You're in a better place. Now you call the red flags immediately. As soon as you see it, you're like, nope, you nip it in the bud right away, as you should, as you should. All right, let's take a look at this person. Oh, I just saw nine of wands here. There, there's somebody here. You could be connecting with a, um, a Gemini, Scorpio, Virgo, Aquarius, Pisces. Okay, for some of you, but whomever you're currently connecting with or no longer connecting with, if you're curious about this person, you've got somebody here watching you manifest, watching you glow up. You're creating some kind of magic in your life. Um, and this person, it feels like maybe they're watching you reconcile with somebody else, but it feels like this person, they see you like you're, they see you getting your good karma. Do you know what I mean? Not your bad. And it feels to me like this person, <laughs> it's okay. Just hang on. Feels to me like this person is pretty like PO'd about it. Who is this? This doesn't have to be a lover. This could be anybody. Somebody who's like kind of, I think I said yesterday there was some jealousy or, you know, this is feels like bitterness. Look at the face. Somebody is bitter or angry or just kind of like, I just heard that smarts, that smarts. They can't do what you do. They, they're not doing what you're able to do, Virgo. Your cutoff game, Virgo, is immensely strong. And that's just a fact. And it's not like you cut off intentionally to hurt people. It's just that when you reach the end of the line, it's like, far, I just saw Forrest Gump. They're showing me. Remember when Forrest was running? Somebody here might have the name Jenny. Remember when Forrest was running? And he was running and he didn't know why he was just running. And then one day he just stopped and he turned around. He's like, I'm done running. <laughs> that was it. He wasn't trying to hurt anybody that was following him. He wasn't trying to like cause any problems, like how other people reacted. They were all standing there like, what? well, now what do we do? So Forrest was just kind of like, well, that's not my problem. I'm done here. I've come, I've done what I needed to do and I'm moving on. <laughs> and does it seem kind of cold? I mean, maybe... If, inside your heart it hurts but the other person is like those people looking at forest and say well what wait what what's going on here so whoever this other person is or other people are just looking at you like well well what's going on what happened you know um you're not leading anybody here virgo you're just doing you all right, so that went on for a while. Let's take a look at the magician. I'm only going to pull clarifiers, okay, for the major arcana. Two of swords. So you're just kind of like you made your decision here, Virgo. You're manifesting either new love or you're, um, you know, manifesting in your own life, making things better in your, in your own personal life. And whatever will be, will be. And whatever comes down the pipeline, you'll know now that you either need to like check somebody or that this is going to be somebody good coming in for you. Okay. So what's going on with judgment? This is like a final decision is what I'm saying. You're at a, you're at a final, some of you are just at this final place. Like you're just not look at queen, queen of pentacles, queen or king. Yep. It's all about you. You've opened yourself up. I just kind of feel like, um, Judgment Day has arri is arriving or has arrived. It feels like it's arriving for a lot of you. It's coming in the, the month of October, seriously, where you're just, you're in this place now where you're just like, well, I'm done. Judgment Day has come and I got to keep moving. I got to keep it moving. You know, that's my saying, keep it moving and you're keeping it moving. Okay, let's see. I just want to get another clarifier here for the Queen of Pentacles. Look at you, eight of pentacles. You're just putting in the effort, doing you. You're so distracted. Some of you are really getting your career going or you're working on your hobbies. You're just not messing around. 
even if somebody you're currently connecting with and like a person or a lover or someone you're interested in at this time you're still focusing on yourself like that's your mantra you're staying focused on you no matter whether you're even if you meet somebody new you're still like okay great but you've learned the lesson this is how i feel you've learned some kind of lesson now what's going on and your person is looking at you like what happened where are you what's going on what are you doing are you working are you not working you might be blocking somebody you know you might have just you're not answering you're stifling you're stalemating perhaps a past connection you're just not trying to get involved with it at this time will you decide later down the line that you might want to maybe you know but right now it seems like your focus is on yourself and what you're trying to create or build you're being very routine you're you know going to the gym consistently you're working on your projects consistently you're um, staying in touch with people who are important to you consistently you're you're going to your work every day consistently you know you're um, even getting into really good skin routines you're eating better like it it's such a virgo vibe you know virgos are so hygienic and they just want clear clean crystal everything just shiny and healthy and it's it's beautiful right and it's like you're really taking your time and stopping to smell the roses here and really enjoying your life i don't know what happened here so your person okay they're gonna try to reach out to you definitely i mean i feel like this person is very passionate has a lot of passion for you and possibly even more so because you're so passionate about yourself yeah there's there's going to be some kind of an exchange here um and this person's coming in with this exchange um because of the eight of swords because there's a deep insecurity um or a feeling of that they're going to come in with this victim thing it's kind of like feeling sorry for themselves to try to it's like it feels like a ploy just to try to kind of re-engage with you or have a conversation with you that kind of thing talk about you know where you've been or what you're doing they'll even try to tell you i just heard the reason that they haven't been in touch with you or any kind of separation is because they've been busy or they've been on some kind of journey okay is it true i mean it might be it might not be but let's find out let's find out here's an exchange there there's definitely for some of you there's been some kind of separation you guys split up or you went your separate ways let me see oh yeah nine of cups they're definitely going to exchange to tell you that you know they were out seeking their their cornucopia in life it's all bullshit though <laughs> because it it's just kind of like a mirror energy you know um because that's what you did so now they're coming in with that you know like when when somebody ends something with you i had somebody that do this to me once they ended a relationship with me but I guess either they regretted it or they just wanted to try to stay in touch so what they do is they would message me and then they would say um oh no like they would come up with this excuse that they were really busy but i knew it was just it was bull you know what i mean because i knew just knowing the person that um they weren't busy they were just trying to make it seem like they were just too busy to talk to make me feel like <laughs> i don't even know how to explain it like for me to say to accept that and i was like um you could be sitting on the toilet and still text me you're not too busy to go like three four or five days so if you're not messaging me that long then obviously somebody's either you dropped your phone in the toilet mfr or you're with somebody else i mean let's keep it real here we're not fools you know um so it's like one or the other um oh no 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 i've just been really busy you know it's bull 
anyway so that's what this person's coming in with this like oh they haven't they haven't been talking to you because they have been so busy you know and meanwhile virgo i feel like you're not reaching out because you're just getting on with life yeah four of pentacles see they don't want to let you go there is their insecurity that holds on there's the king of cups damn always the king of cups with you guys um so that's obviously um i almost said capricorn so for some of you there might be a capricorn but it's water element cancer pisces scorpio all right so yeah this person withdrawn with their emotions i just feel like they're kind of full of, they're they're full of crap i just feel like they're, they're they have a very strong passion for you definitely you know i i see that here and they have very deep emotions for you and i feel like they want to have some kind of exchange with you and they're not willing to let go but you give them a sense of long-term security like you soothe their insecurities and they want to hold on to that with you but virgo i just kind of get a sense like you guys with that judgment card you're kind of like everything out in the open now yours i can see clearly now the rain is gone that's it that's virgo all of how's it go all of the bad feelings have disappeared there you go let's take a look at this king of cups what's going on oh yeah king of cups is like you're my home you're everything um there may be traveling this this doesn't have to be a water sign but whomever they may be communicating with you that they're going home and they're coming home they want to exchange want to hold on they want to talk to you i don't know virgo what are you doing there's some red flags i feel like you're looking out for either with this person um there's definitely an element of reconciliation so this does feel like a past person whether it's a lover or a friend or a family member that you've gone into no contact with Virgo, you know this person is going to be reaching out to you again. Like you have kind of a sense and you're not mad, Virgo. I don't feel like you're, you're, cause you're just like, how could you be mad when you're busy being happy in your own life? Right? If anybody's, if anybody's angry or mad, it's because they're not busy with their own lives being happy. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I don't feel like you have any rush of anger here, but I do kind of feel like you're very wise with the hermit. You know, this person sees that you're in hermit mode, um, that you're kind of like, or they think you are, you might not be, you might just be like you know, devil may care attitude at this point, but it feels like they may see you as being this way. Let's take a look at the hermit. Oh, they feel like you're being sneaky, Virgo. This person is so full of themselves. They think you're doing something to them on purpose. They think that you're ignoring them on purpose that you're just not engaging with them because you're being manipulative <clears throat> excuse me or you're being um trying to pull the silent treatment here i don't see that i feel like they think that and the reason why they think that is because that's what they do or what they've done in the past you know people who accuse other people of cheating are usually the ones who are cheating you know what i mean i mean come on I say this all the time. For every finger someone points at you, remember they got three pointing back at themselves. People tell on themselves all the time. So, yeah, this is what I feel like is going on. Or, and if, they, if, if they're not thinking that you're the one being manipulative or anything like that, they feel like you just snuck away, you know? And, and if they try to reach out to you, those red flags are so strong for some of you that you're not even going to bother responding some of you i love that you are a lot of you are just having a very strong wake up moment and you're very happy with yourselves like the the cord is cut you're moving on in your life okay so i'm gonna take these reverse the queen of cups it's interesting there's water element all over here the queen of cups and the nine of pentacles in the reverse i feel like this was you before and the spirit wants you to know that at some point in the past whether in a particular relationship any past relationships whatever some point in the past you were very codependent very needy very confused 
very manipulative emotionally, um, inability to be independent, relied very heavily on this person, maybe financially, or just like in general, you were in a position of like, you just felt like you couldn't do anything on your own without this person. And it feels to me like that's tables have turned. I think that's going to be the, the caption. The tables have turned here. Now it's this part because you just somehow leveled up or you did whatever. And now this person is here like waiting for you to come back. And you know what? They're also, they're also going to, they're going to be waiting for you forever, Virgo. You could leave this person and never return ever and they're still going to be here wondering where you are and waiting for you to come back like like someone who's lost on an island do you know what's so funny i watched yesterday the movie cast away with tom hanks and and that's your person wilson <laughs> your person's only friend is wilson the volleyball because they did you wrong <laughs> because they're jealous of your glow up. And that's not somebody who loves you. When somebody loves you and truly cares about you, they support your changes. Do you know what I mean? Something happened in the past where you're no longer in this negative energy. Somebody's name might be Wilson, I don't know, but I feel like this person is gonna keep waiting for that ship to come and rescue them, you being the ship. And Virgo's like, I'm free, free falling. And there you go, you're out of here. I'm like, I'm a singing fool. Let me take a look here. Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's going to be other people, other, other men or women around them trying to get their attention. Um, they, they're putting them all on the back burner, just waiting for you. This is obsessive weirdness. They're just waiting for you. Look, they're not even looking at all, all the others that they know or that they've been with. I'm trying to hold the cards as if they're like actual people. Everyone behind them, like they could be at a party and all these people, men, males or females, and they're like not back, they have their back to those people. They're looking out on the horizon, wondering when's Virgo coming back? When's Virgo gonna return? <laughs> you know, like, I think this person might even swear off XEX. Let me say, this is, this reading's crazy. I want to see the fool. Oh, hello, emperor. Yeah, they know you're looking for your, your, your king of kings and your queen of queens. Oh, yeah. Or if they don't know it, they know, though. They suspect that you're just trying to attract new love. This is what you're looking for. You're not looking for any king of cups, pentacles, wands, or swords. You're looking for your emperor or your empress, okay? Because the emperor, Aries energy for some, not all Aries are emperors. So don't get it fooled that you mean an, you mean an Aries and this person's like grown up. There's plenty of grown boys out there who are Aries. But this person comes in, comes in as a very responsible person, uh, has a commanding presence, somebody you can rely on, that's someone who give you the truth, um, but they're not abusive and they're not hurtful, you know, and this is someone that takes care of family, takes care of their lover, you know, and is respectful and mature. What is going on? Okay, so for some of you, I know you're like, well, I'm done with the past. You don't want the past. You're not going back there. You should know that holiday season, this could very well, the Nine of Cups here, I think I said cornucopia, so there could be something around Thanksgiving that there's a return or exchange happens. Um, Thanksgiving in the United States here would be November, like, I don't know, what. when is it now? 24th, 27th, like the last week of November, there may be some kind of exchange from your past person, okay? Um, and you know what? Some of you may want this person to come back. I get it. You want them to heal. You want that great big miracle. The star can be a miracle. Um, and some of you may want to have, but see, I just feel like because this pay attention to the red flags card is here, some of you are 
you're stepping lightly to return back to this connection. Even if this person gets themselves together and sorts it out and they're ready to commit and they don't want to lose you and they screwed up and all that, all that stuff, you know, I feel like a lot of you are just, wait, you're paying attention. You're going to, you, you're paying attention to red flags. You're checking on them first. You, you see them first now. You can see them immediately. And if they show up, if you give this person a chance, some of you are kind of like, well, if the red flag shows up, I'm out. <laughs> okay. Which means this person not responding to you, um, not acknowledging your relationship or your, your feelings, or if they're ghosting or giving the silent treatment or just hanging about but not being in their emperor energy or empress energy that those are your red flags your red flags are your deal breakers okay let's take a look here and see what their love messages are here for you you speak to me through music okay we do have a lot of music here um, or you, some of you might be sending your person songs, maybe songs you wrote. Maybe they're re-listening to songs that you wrote or, co or created. Okay, time apart. Yeah, see, I feel like a lot of you are going to keep your distance from this connection because a lot of you really just, you know there's red flags. If you have to like restart a relationship, this is it's hard for you. You don't want to restart a relationship and go through time. Time passes so quick. Are you going to go through this whole thing? Sometimes it is easier to, to try to meet somebody new and start over. I understand it. But I also understand that the types of people that are out there today, I mean, you never know what you're going to get. And so it's really a lot of you are just kind of weighing it out. You know, is it, is it worth it to try to fix the relationship and mend it since we already know each other? Is this person going to come in and try to fix things and make it right? Or do I just got to like get out or just stay single? You know, I, a lot of you, I just saw apology at the bottom here. So definitely some kind of an apology, although I'm not really seeing it here. I do feel you will get it. But you just want to make sure that it's a it's a true apology. It's not it's not someone <clears throat> who stabs you in the back and says sorry you got hurt as if you were just standing there and it was an accident. No, um, if someone intentionally hurt, like you got to be very discerning of the apology that you're getting from somebody. Let's take a look here and see what else. Because an apology could be a red flag. Some people come in with that apology. Um, just to lure back in, they think they're not, they're not, they don't know how smart Virgo is. I took the easy way out. Okay. Yeah. This person, they definitely, they took the easy way out. In other words, for some of you, this person just up and left, or they just ghosted or they gave or they just disappeared on you. That is the coward's way out. That's the easy way out because relationships, people, if one person feels it's not working out, the other person's like, man, that really sucks. Is there anything we can do to fix this? And if the other person says, no, not at this time, can we just have a split or a break for a while? Then you both kind of go into a mutual decision. You're respectful and you give each other time and space. No, this person that you're connecting with just ran away like a coward or just didn't say anything or just couldn't and they just hid or they just blocked or disappeared on you okay and so you're already aware of that okay or didn't try to like have an adult conversation with you i wish things could be different we as it says in the movie you can wish in one hand and shit in the other and see which comes out first is that the phrase <laughs> excuse me i don't know what's up with my brain interference an external party is intruding on this relationship okay well I feel the inter now for some of you you might know that there's an internal um, an external uh, like another person but for others I feel like this is this person's deception and lies that ex that it intrudes on the relationship 
okay? Those red flags. I mean, they're walking, breathing, living little flags there, you know? And that's kind of what I feel like. The, the interference is this person's behavior towards you, you know? Who the heck were you dealing with, Virgo? Who was this? What was up with this person? I hope you're happy. Virgo's like, I am. Thank you. Boundaries. Okay. Firm boundaries. You know what? And somebody, um, Shakisha posted this maybe. I'm not sure. SM. Um, what was that that you said? Um, people get angry when you put up boundaries because then they can no longer manipulate you. Is that is that the is that the phrase? I can't remember exactly what the phrase was. I actually read that before, but I can pull out lyrics or songs and stuff like that. But like these quotes, I just I never remember the quotes. But it was something along those lines. Like um, people are only angry with you because when you put up boundaries, because they can't manipulate you anymore. And I feel like that's kind of why your person might be mad because in the past you might have been boundaryless. Or because of love, because you love somebody, you know, and I, you know what? I think no matter how much you love someone, you, you can't be a jellyfish. There's another saying that's coming into my head, okay? If you're, if you're for everything, you'll stand for nothing. If you're okay with everything, you'll stand for nothing. What are your convictions? What are your deal breakers? And maybe in the past, you allowed your deal breakers to go by the wayside because of love, because you, or, or because it was a physical thing, you know, whatever. You, you, you didn't just say no. I mean, if you grew up in the 80s, man, that was, all, that was on TV all the time. Just say no, just say no. I think that's why my generation is, you know, I was born, um, I grew up in the 70s, so as a child, my generation, all we heard as a teenager in the 80s was just say no. I think that's why my generation is like really easy to say, no, <laughs> I'm not doing it. I don't know. I maybe, maybe it's just where I grew up, but I don't, but I'm up here like Philly, New York, Jersey. I mean, we have no problem up here just telling an MF -er to go F themselves. Like when we mean no, it's like not a problem. Maybe it just depends where you are. <laughs> Let's take a look and see what your your advice cards are. Okay. Oh, there's a Queen of Swords. Brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental. Releasing situations or people that no longer serve you. Seeing the humor in difficult situations. Focusing on your career. Some of you may divorced or unmarried. Okay. Queen of Swords does not take any SHIT from anybody. She is straight up sharp and in your face. She's not blunt. She's sharp. She's precise. Uh, whether you're male or female. And Queen of Swords can represent Virgo a lot of the time. So Queen of Swords is just straight to the point goes right for the jugular doesn't mess around with the details it's just boom this is the deal okay all right ten of wands working too hard or too many hours a need for balance in life let others help you health problems due to stress okay however the good news about this card because you guys might have had a lot of this going on i'm skipping the singles tonight because i did it yesterday you guys had a lot of this going on um but you're at the end the 10 is the end that's the finale okay you're at the end of the struggle here it's time for a break it's time to go live your life it is time for you virgo to get out there and smell your flowers and enjoy your garden and, and be present and mindful to all that life has to offer you right now. A lot of you have lost your, your spark. Some of the things you used to do, and I feel like some of you are standing there either today or will be standing there like, wait a minute, I used to love doing this. Am I mildly depressed? You're getting your mojo back. And I love it, Virgo. You're feeling better about yourself. You're feeling hopeful. You will be. If you're not yet, you will be. You know, 
a lot to celebrate for yourself. You've worked really hard and Virgo, you have been struggling in your prior relationship, your prior relationships, um, relationships with your family, with your kids, with your friends, with career, colleagues, work, whatever. It doesn't have to be all of it, but some of it. And it's like you are just ready for vacation. Some of you might be going on a vacation. Maybe you're going to find a passionate new lover or someone just to make you feel like you are just, you know, amazing. <laughs> amazing. So I feel like there's a little bit of a mix of both going on here. Okay, yeah, look, Seven of Cups in fantasy land. Mm. Mariah Carey, what's that song, Fantasy? Oh, I can't bring it up. I just saw her face in that video. Sweet, sweet fantasy lover. Is that it? Don't ask me to sing like Mariah, because that's not going to happen. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. That's it. That's all you're going to get. Is that it? And you walk by looking fine. Okay. Fantasy. Fantasy. <laughs> Make a choice. Stop procrastinating or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options. Maybe for some of you Virgos, you're like, well, now I can pick of the litter here <laughs> be careful of drinking or drugging or your addictions keep them uh find some moderation because you're i feel like a lot of you are just going to be like you know sniffing the flowers or just smelling the pumpkin pie and just like eyes rolling in the back of your head just feeling like really enjoying life <laughs> and being really happy i'm gonna pull one more oh Queen of Cups is here yet again. Lot, listen, something to do with water energy. It doesn't matter what your person's sun sign in. They could have water anywhere. But now you're in the upright here. So you're set straight. Okay. Loving, compassionate, psychic, a lot of you. Self-sacrificing, deep psychic insights, like you're in tune with that. Caring for others, but sometimes forgetting to take care of yourself. I feel like you're working on that. And that feels mostly to me like if you have children or grandchildren, um, or maybe you're taking care of a parent or something like that, you know, I'm not talking about being a doormat. I'm talking about the unconditional love stuff for your kids and like a parent, you know what I mean? Um, the people that that's who's deserving of unconditional love, your pet, okay? Make sure... There's an old saying again, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. So make sure you're keeping yourself or daddy, keeping yourself like in a good place. Trust your intuition, Virgo, and a deep love of family and friends. Follow your heart, but don't, don't follow your heart when it comes to somebody who's giving you red flags, okay? Um, that you have to follow your head with those people. All right, let's get some charms. Where's my... There we go. All right. Isn't there a song? Oh, The Charm Life by... Why, why am I getting that? Charm Life by... Is it Sheena E? Sheila E? Or Apollonia? I'm like, I'm still on the Prince thing here. Okay, I know some of you know what I'm talking about. Others like, what? Who are you even talking about? Oh... Okay, you've got the key. Some of you might be getting a key soon or uh, you lost your key. Okay, they just showed me if you've lost your keys or you're looking for a key, there's this is a very small message. It's by your plant. Okay, either you dropped it in your plant, like it's in the soil or it's somewhere near there, wherever your plants are, somewhere near there. Okay, it could be outside as well but this is like a skeleton key so virgo you have the key to unlock every single door that you wish to unlock and you may not even realize that you have the key to do this you're powerful you're not powerless okay you're powerless to higher power who will provide those keys for you but you have what it takes virgo to go in any door that you like and create whatever you wish to create for yourself trust me 
This is not just a spiritual message. This is the truth. When Virgo, when you want to do something, you are very good at analyzing what you want to do and looking at it and saying, I want to do that. And then taking the steps to doing it. Like you just know how you need to do something. Okay. Most people are get confused, they get flustered, or they gave up real quick. Virgo, you're very persevering. Most Virgos are very persevering. Wherever your plate, your Virgo placement and whatever house is in in that area, you're very good at sticking to it. Virgo, that's why you suffer a lot in relationships because you have a stick to it, stick to itiveness. You're the martyr of the zodiac sign, you know, of the zodiac. You'll you'll forgive and forgive, and you'll give to people, and you'll just you understand. You want to bring healing and love, but sometimes Virgo, you get yourself to that position where you get yourself in a doormat position, and you wind up continuously giving to the wrong people. You know what? It's okay to be selfish. You're allowed to be selfish, and you're allowed to take the key and go and unlock those doors. If somebody tells you you can't go in a, in a certain room, okay, you go get that key and you go in that room, okay? And don't let other, other people tell you what to do, okay? You're definitely getting a letter or a message or some... You can't even see this. It looks like very old a package. There's something coming for you in the mail. Um, um, this is coming out of the blue. It's a packet. It feels mostly, it could be, for some of you, it could be a letter. I don't know that it's a love letter. I'm not really picking that up. But it's coming from, um, this feels like um, what comes around goes around. So this might be a reply to something. It could be a letter, but it could also be a package or a gift. Uh, from somebody okay because this kind of feels like a like it looks like packaged paper i'm not really you know it's one or the other okay it could be an envelope um infinity symbol here okay but okay well november we were looking at november and i'm looking at the eighth here november 8th might be significant um, for somebody or there may be something going on between the 8th and Thanksgiving where this person like there's an exchange of some sort okay um, infinity also I'm feeling I'm feeling the strength card there you go okay Leo energy look at the infinity symbol yeah there's something here about courage. Um, if this relationship is coming back around again, which is possible, you're, you have like this incredible courage right now. Um, if you have to handle something or there's red flags, like if you're going to make a decision to go through this again, despite these red flags, you have a different set of um, weapons. I feel like I need to say weapons. Your arsenal is well equipped to handle something. I feel like a lot of you have been doing some research online or you've been trying to better understand the connection you've been in. I know a lot of you aren't able to leave a relationship at this time because maybe you live together or you're stuck in some kind of partnership or something or like a business or something. What, if, if that's your situation, I feel like because you can't get out of this just yet, you're able to better handle it. And because you've learned or you've been getting some tips or tricks or some help. If that's the situation for you, that's good because there are ways to, and some of you, you know, I mean, if, if you're in a situation where you can't get out of, you can stay in that situation as long as it's not physically abusive. If it's physical, then you have to get out. But if you're not in any danger and you're in a situation where you just have to tweak it a little bit so that you can bear it, um, so that you can make keep making your plans to get out if you need to, you can do it. And you, some of you, I feel like, have been looking online or trying to figure out how you can do that, how you can make those changes within yourself to detach and not be connected, to, to let things roll off your back while you're still kind of in the situation. This could be at your job, dealing with, you know, 
colleagues or bosses or people who are just you, you can't leave yet this could be family that you're still connecting with you can't really push them fully away yet you got to find a way to deal with them in the present until you can get away this could be with a lover or a husband or wife or spouse or boyfriend girlfriend whatever your situation it could be with your kids you know finding a way to manage managing your emotions managing the situation okay and the last but not least the unicorn is here again okay so it's your unicorn moment 100 percent. my little pony my little pony my little pony it's your unicorn moment at this time somebody asked me what deck this is you guys i cannot even remember I cannot, I'm, I'm not, I don't know if I have it written in the description box below, but you could look it up <laughs> probably on, I think maybe it might be on Amazon. Um, I don't have the book and I don't, I don't remember, believe it or not, my decks, I get my decks. I use them so much. I'm so into them that I don't, I don't ever remember what they're called. Everyone, the, my first deck that I ever used, if you go back in, on my Moon Pie Tarot channel back to 2016 when I started, my first deck, I think that was my first deck, was a deck by Anna K. Tarot, and it was my most favorite deck. I don't know if I ever repurchased that deck again. I, I think I might have... Um, did away with it i'm not i shouldn't have because that was my favorite but i think you still get it but if you, i think if you look on like amazon just type in newer tarot decks i forget what it's called so if i don't respond if i don't have it written in the description box i'm not going to be able to help you guys with that sorry but um you know what i'm just going to do one small little thing for you guys i'm going to do i'm just going to pull one card to see if there's a singles coming in for you. I'm just going to do that real quick. It's not, not going to be a long, in-depth um, tarot reading, okay? Because I want the last singles one to play out for a little bit for you guys. Let me take a look here. Okay. Oh, well, they gave me the Queen of Swords. Five of Wands and that that dang darn okay okay <laughs> all right you're good all right so for some of you all right i don't know if you go to sports games or if you go to like tailgating parties or parties after sports games or something um you get an invite i'm just going to say this real quick you get an invite to a party a, like there's a sports party there's a game there's some kind of a game okay i don't care what country you're in after the game is over okay then there's like drinks afterward and you're going to meet somebody there okay so if you have plans to go to some kind of like party or i don't know where i'm at we have like tailgating parties or football parties and stuff and um other places like I, everybody's got them you know it's after some kind of party okay some kind of sports event maybe you're going to a game in a stadium or something afterwards there's some kind of party or drinks you're going to meet somebody you're going to meet somebody and it could be an air sign male or female okay um and you guys are going to be are you going to be in a relationship i don't know how can we tell that right away? But I will tell you that there's going to be a lot of drinking and a lot of fun. And um, <laughs> it's going to be really like a lot of fun. So if you were invited to something like that, you should go. If you're looking for love or if you're looking to be social and meet people. If you weren't invited, then you need to have, have a party or f ask around, okay, um, to see if there's anything else going on anywhere in your area it doesn't have to be like okay so it's going to be within the next three months that's what i'm going to tell you so you have plenty of time have a party make a party do something next three months all right you guys i'm going to get going um i hope you enjoyed this reading um i will be contacting everyone hopefully tomorrow in regards to the moderators and i will also see you tomorrow please do hit a like on the video so that it um, flows through YouTube's algorithm and, um, yeah.
please do subscribe. All right, you guys. Love you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.